When fishermen saw a sick turtle floating in the water, they realized he desperately needed help. When a group of Tasmanian fishermen noticed a turtle floating out on the southern ocean, they thought it was an incongruous sight and decided to investigate. They knew that the animal was way out of its comfort zone that far south. But, when they maneuvered their boat closer, the fishing party realized the turtle was not in a good way at all. That is when they downed their nets and decided to help the desperate creature instead. When they made their sighting in January 2017, the fishermen had been trawling off the southeastern coast of Tasmania. The Australian island state is located in the Southern Ocean and is surrounded by a fascinating array of sea life. As well as many species that are native to the region, Tasmanian waters play host to a number of visiting whales, dolphins, seals and seabirds. So it is safe to say that anyone who spends time on the open seas near Tasmania will see their fair share of marine life. However, when the fishermen spotted one animal on their outing, it gave them pause. That's because the creature was a loggerhead sea turtle which is far from native to local waters. Loggerheads are commonly found in the Indian and Pacific Oceans. However, they rarely venture as far south as Tasmania, where the water can be much cooler. In January, the average water temperatures off the coast of Hobart, Tasmania's capital, is 59 degrees Fahrenheit. But this can drop to 52 degrees Fahrenheit in August. These are temperatures which can seriously slow a loggerhead down. Worryingly, the turtle the fishermen had found did not look too hot. The 220-pound adult male appeared to be very lethargic and sickly. His energy levels were so low that he was unable to submerge himself when the boat approached. Furthermore, he was carrying a lot of barnacles, the presence of so many of these sea parasites indicated the turtle had been inactive, possibly through illness, for some time. While they awaited help from the marine conservation program, the fishermen tried to pull the loggerhead onto their vessel. We were so happy to help this turtle in distress, one of their number, Richard Moore, revealed on Facebook. We, spent three hours on the bay at White Beach trying to get him on our boat. It, was such a great moment when we dragged him on board. Soon, staff from the marine conservation program came to relieve the fishermen. The deputation from the Marine Wildlife Welfare Group arranged temporary accommodation for the turtle overnight at the nearby Dunali Fish Market. They also organized a veterinarian appointment for him the following morning. In the meantime, the conservationists set about the painstaking task of removing the barnacles from the patient. They had to carry out this process one by one in case they damaged the turtle. Loggerhead sea turtles often confuse floating plastic bags for jellyfish which are a staple element of the species diet. However, once consumed the bags can cause catastrophic damage. They can become lodged in a turtle's intestines, prevent them from absorbing nutrients and even cause the unfortunate animal to suffocate or starve. Thankfully, the veterinary examination found no trace of plastic in the turtle's digestive system. This was good news for all those involved and meant the marine animal experts could concentrate on getting the animal better. As a result, they wasted no time on getting the loggerhead on the road to recovery. Tragically, such efforts were too late for the Tasmanian turtle. In a sad update made in late February 2017, the Marine Conservation Program told its followers that the loggerhead had a serious lung infection that had not responded to treatment. It was all just too much for the poor fellow after his ordeal. With heavy hearts, knowing that with the animal's population at risk, Every turtle life is vital, veterinary experts at the organization took the merciful decision to put the patient down. So the Tasmanian fishermen had joined a long line of animal lovers doing their utmost to save the loggerhead. It was just unfortunate that their rescue came too late in the day for the marine conservation program to save the poor creature. Nevertheless, with the loggerhead sea turtle in peril, the fishing party did the right thing and should still be applauded, be applauded.